Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And today we're going to be looking at a text in the Gospel of John chapter 19, because uh, for the next few days we're going to be talking about the words of Jesus from the cross. As we look to Easter, as we look to the, the crucifixion, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we're going to take a few moments and just ponder what Jesus said on the cross. And uh, in John 19, uh, verses 26 and 27, Jesus is being crucified, and it said, When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, by the way, that's the Apostle John who's writing this, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Uh, in this first word of Jesus from the cross, we see his compassion. Now, this was a difficult moment. I mean, Mary is standing there watching Jesus be executed. She's already, her heart's already been broken, and she's watching the slow motion tragedy happen as her oldest son, the Son of God, the, the one that came miraculously, uh, is being crucified. And she doesn't understand. We know at this point she doesn't get it yet, that he's got to die and be buried and be resurrected from the dead. So, uh, so in her heart, it's just brokenness. It's sorrow. It's grief. And in that moment, as Jesus is suffering, he looks down from the cross and he sees his mom and he has compassion for her. Now, Part of that compassion is saying, understand, this is what's happening. Woman, mom, look at me. This is the reality. I'm dying. I'm not going to be there to take care of you in your older years. Uh, uh, you have to say goodbye. He, he wants to say goodbye well, and he hasn't had that chance. And so he, he invites her to recognize this moment for what it is. He's thinking of his mom, but he's also trying to prepare her for his death. But then he says to his disciple, John, here's your mom. See, Jesus is still trying to fulfill his responsibilities. As the oldest son, he's supposed to take care of his mother. And yes, he has stepbrothers, but he doesn't rely on them, right? At this point in time in the journey, they're not followers of his. They don't believe in him. They would come to. They would come to be disciples. They would come to be leaders in the church. But at this moment, they're not yet. And, and he is fulfilling his responsibility given in the law to honor your father and your mother. And so he looks at John, whom he loves, whom he trusts. And he says, John, take care of my mom. Take care of my mom. And John does. From that day forward, he treats her as his mom. He takes care of her financially. He looks after her. But I want you to see Jesus in that moment. Because in that moment, Jesus sets an example that, that we need to follow. And that example is this. It's not about us. If there's ever a moment when you think, hey, I, I can focus on my pain and my sorrow and my hurt, it would be when you're being executed on the cross but Jesus doesn't do that. He looks at his mom and he demonstrates the compassion that it's not about me, but it's about the people that I'm supposed to care for. He continues to be a servant even in his suffering. Now, all of us have pain. All of us have sorrow. All of us have brokenness in our lives. Don't let that distract you from being a servant of God. Yes, it hurts. Yes, grief is real. Yes, the, the sorrow is real. Yes, the, the needs are real. But continue to hear Jesus' words that whoever wants to be great must be the servant of everyone. And step into greatness by continuing to care for the people around you. Never lose your heart of compassion. And if you haven't developed a heart of compassion, ask God to teach you how to be compassionate and care for others. Because that's his heart. And he demonstrated that on the cross. I hope that helps you appreciate Jesus a little bit more and become a little bit more like him. Have a great day. God bless Calvary.